We'll see the Golden State Warriors taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. Now Golden State's starting five. Curry and Clay, the Splash Brothers, in the backcourt. Wiggins is out there with Draymond Green, and it's Wiseman in its center. Whistle blows, basket is good, so a chance here for a three-point play. Yeah, that's a good way to start the game. Nice inside bucket right there. Los Angeles shooting their first foul shot of the game. And you look at all the things this man brings to the game. The focus, the resolve, a winner's mindset. I mean, there's a reason why they call him the logo. Now, here's Thompson. First shot, first basket. He's out of the blocks fast. Uncovered at the rim, finding cracks in the defense here early on. Just really smart basketball and exploiting whatever holes that he's seeing right now in the defensive squad. One of the more skilled offensive players that is on the floor here tonight. Not an easy fella to hold in check. Curry deciding where to go with it. It's the three-point bomb. Well, that's one of the game's greatest three-point shooters, so don't be shocked. Outside, Kobe. And Kobe throws it down. That's nice vision there. You see that pass, you make the feed before the defense has a chance to react, and that opens up a, a much better opportunity to score. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Warriors. Outside, Green. Thompson for the triple. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Thompson's got five now. Yeah, Draymond Green, we know he plays with attitude. He plays with force. And his teammates appreciate the unselfish approach he has. Kobe can't hit. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Took him no time at all on that one. And it's seven points for Clay Thompson. Man, right off the bat, super sharp here offensively. Four of five so far. Ryan against Wiggins. And the ball out of play. The Warriors will inbound. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And early in the game, a defensive play like that goes a long way establishing the attitude you want. Curry with it. And they have certainly been looking locked in offensively. They sure have. Staying aggressive and playing under control. Eisman no good. Johnson attacking. It's deflected. Here's Green. That shot misses. And the Lakers going the other way now. Inside. Here's Kobe. They shoot again. And three chances on that possession. But they just couldn't find a way to score. A shot by Thompson and no one's around. Bangs home the trifecta. Thompson's got a pair of threes now. as fast as he really is. Outside, Bogdanovich. Passes to Mitchell. The three. Chicago grabs the miss. Outside, Jordan. Down low. Here's Gilmore. And the powerful one-handed slam. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a scorer like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. Now here is Conley. And it's out of bounds to the Jazz as Utah retains possession. On defense, Chicago. Four-point game. At the top of the key, Gobert. Five to shoot. Well put all that size.
this to good use. Rip it off the backboard. Outside for Jordan. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Jordan's got five. No one's ever questioned his court vision. Rose playing unselfish basketball, being the leader this team needs him to be. O'Neal passes to Mitchell. Shot to stop the run. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Dennis Rodman picks one up. Really uh, the right play defensively. If you can't block, force him to the line. This is his first free throw of the game. And when you shoot 86 from the line like he did last season, you usually cash in on those opportunities. First free throw is good. It is still amazing to me that in 2017, Donovan Mitchell wasn't even a top 10 pick. If you had a redraft, he'd likely go top two. Absolutely incredible. Now here's Rhodes. Now the pass to Gilmore. And here is Jordan. And the dunk by Jordan. And right there, you see how quickly MJ gets into the air. Yet another one of his natural gifts. Pass to O'Neal. The Jazz working the ball around now. Rodman against Mitchell. The Jazz with another miss. Listen, he knows he should have made that shot. We'll see if they can work it back to him in that same area. Not a problem when that's your first miss of the game. Strong start. And the basket is good. Boy, after missing three straight, they finally get one to go down. Rose with the ball. He's picked up by O'Neal. The shot's good from Jordan. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Conley against Rose. Conley the pass to Gobert. Now here's Conley. Not a lot of room. And Gobert kicks to O'Neal. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Dennis Rodman picks one up. For Utah, they have gone two for two in the game at the line. Joe Ingles, he's checked in for Bogdanovich. That one falls, so he hits both of them. This is about the last guy. It's Wiseman in at the five. And for the Lakers, LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Caldwell Pope, and it's Drummond in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And stolen by James. He lobs up the alley-oop pass, hammers the alley-oop through. Fantastic vision. I mean, Brown always cognizant of everyone around him. And see where Contavious Caldwell Pope changing his approach before last season. He, he knew he wouldn't need to take on as much of a scoring responsibility. Yeah, and what a team player, GA. I mean, KCP rededicated himself to defense. He tries to do more with less touches now. And that's the mindset you need to have playing with stars going for a championship. Free throw, no good for LeBron. You know, even though LeBron doesn't go 100% every minute of every game in the season, GA, he still knows when to turn it on. And for someone at his age, that is something you have to know how to do. You can see when LeBron kicks it into that next gear. Can't keep it on all the time, but he's still able to take over when he needs to. When the brow gets up, get out of the way. Unless you want to be on the post. And just about a minute into the first quarter. Curry with the bounce pass. Thompson against Davis. And Thompson kicks to Curry. Six on the shot clock. That one wide left. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. No, you're right. He'd take that 10 out of 10 times. He's not going to miss many of those. To Caldwell Pope. Drummond passes to Caldwell Pope. 
The dish to Schroeder. Here's Davis. Drummond trying to get himself free. And Davis can't get it to go. And here's Curry who brings it up for the Warriors. It's a three-point game. An unselfish wing who continues to evolve as a playmaker. Wiggins shows he's more than just a scorer. Drummond in the post. Another shot. Got a hand on it. And even three-on-three three break. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Uh, when you have a four-man with this kind of vision and the unselfishness to go with it, unreal advantage. Draymond Green getting it done. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Here's James. He uses the glass to finish the layup. He's fine. the backcourt. Raymond Green is out there with Leisman. And it's Wiggins in at the small forward position. And looking at the Nets, Harris is out there with Durant. Then there's Griffin. Then there's Irving. And it's Harden in at the guard position. Now here's Curry. And a wide open look here for Wiggins. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. Plenty of experience, Greg, on the floor tonight. How does that shape what we're about to see, do you think? You know, Kevin, this is one of those games where guys are going to be smart out on the floor. They're going to be in the right positions to make plays. And honestly, this could come down to who makes the bigger, tougher shots. Here's Curry following the basket by Kyrie Irving. Curry gets the bucket. This is where Curry does historical damage. I mean, prolific and efficient. Range. Irving against Kurt. Irving kicks to Harden. Right side, Griffin. Back to Harden. Just five on the clock. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. A shot by Thompson, and no one's around. No good on the triple. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Here's Wiggins, and he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time, the whistle blowing. And there's the call, Brooklyn the foul. And this is encouraging. Wiggins looking committed to shooting and forcing the D to compromise. First one falls for him. And both free throws good for Wiggins. And the winner's mentality Wiggins has is commendable. A hard worker who wants to keep improving. Irving for three. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now here's Durant. Following the miss by Andrew Wiggins. Durant down low up against Thompson and the call on the shot that sends him to the line and you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim it's his first trip to the line and really the line a season ago was just a battle for him just about a 72 percent free throw shooter both good from the line that time We're just about two minutes into the first quarter. Outside, Green. In the corner, it's Wiggins. That one falls, his second basket of the game. He's now two for three. Boy, he is looking confident. Love how they're using him so far. Yeah, that's because he's getting his number called early. I mean, he's doing his part to help carry the offensive load. Now here is Harris. 